Hey, it's me, Candy, and Chi Chi Monkey. Um, we're here in Venice. Um, this is the first time Chi Chi's been on a trip with me, so he's very excited, actually. He's been having a really good time. Um, I'm in Venice. Well, not actually in Venice. I'm right outside of Venice in a city called Maestro, Maestro. And um, Venice is really expensive, like really, really expensive. And um, this city is like 10 minutes away, and it's not as expensive. And so I was like, eh, I'm close to the train station this way anyway, and or the bus station. And when I got off the bus this morning with my bag, there was no way I was going to try to carry it up walking bridges in Venice. Because once you get to Venice, it's like... 20, 20 yards, 20 feet, and there's a walk bridge. You walk up, you walk down the other side. Then you continue on another 20 feet, 20 yards, and there's another walking bridge. You walk up it, you walk down. So I was like, no way. Not happening. So I'm glad I'm staying here. Um, but yeah, so Venice is very expensive. Um, this morning, um, when I finally did get to Venice, I was shocked at how expensive it was. Um, Venice is is uh, a city that is basically man-made it's I believe it's man-made made out of like mud and wood and they basically decided to make a city in the middle of the water because uh, a lot of Italy was getting overrun by like the Huns and the Arabs and um, some other groups and they were just kept coming and coming and they were like let's build a safer city in the middle of the ocean no one's gonna get to us so they did. They started building these islands, and basically you have houses and buildings and a whole, a whole city built on little islands, and you have to get around these little islands on, on boats. And now they also have walking bridges, so you can get from one little island to the next little island. You just walk up and down these little bridges, and they're everywhere. Like there's, like I was reading a book, it said there's like about 400 walking bridges alone in Venice. And Venice is not a very big city. So it's pretty cool. Um, uh, and so everything's a lot more expensive in Venice. One reason is because um, like hotels are more expensive because they have to do extra stuff with the waste and with all these other, and linens and, you know, people have to bring hand carts and stuff. And so like restaurants too, they actually have to get all their food from people who push hand carts or who take boats and or bring them on boats and so it's you don't just get everything delivered by truck and so it's a little bit more pricey so this afternoon I decided I wanted to have my first cup of I want to have a very memorable first cup of coffee in Venice and now I love coffee coffee is my thing and you know I always enjoy my first cup of coffee in the morning because it's always like the best way and I don't usually have it first thing in the morning I usually do a bunch of crap and then finally have my coffee and so sometimes my first cup of coffee won't be until like 11 o'clock or 1 o'clock or whatever. And so it's just, and it's just a memorable experience. I like to sit with my coffee. I like to smell it. Uh, I like to take a sip of the foam first when it's fresh before I have to wait for it to cool down because you can always taste the coffee from the foam. It's just, it's just an experience. And, you know, I'm a simple girl. I like my coffee black. Uh, no cream, no sugar, just a good black cup of coffee. And... If it pleases me, I'm a happy person. I'm simple like that. And so, um, but one thing I've realized since I started traveling, um, I found this out a couple, when I went to Mexico in March, and now I feel it's coming back again, is that a lot of places don't have drip coffee. And in California, in San Francisco, I'm used to getting coffee everywhere, just drip coffee. Oh, coffee of the day. Okay, fill her up. You know, I have my Contigo with me, and here you go, fill, fills. 350, you know, Pete's. I go and get my Pete's coffee sometimes, it's like two dollars. And you know, it's like, do I want to have like a lot of caffeine? I'll go with light roast. Do I want to have a less caffeinated day? I'll go with dark roast, you know. So, I, you know, that's pretty much how it goes. And I love that. However, other countries don't have drip coffee or it's not in abundance, they have espressos, cappuccinos, and so Americanos. And what an Americano is, is an Americano is an espresso with water. Um, espressos are really strong. And, you know, I'm an independent woman. I don't want coffee stronger than me. And so when I get a cup of espresso, I'm like, oh, it kind of knocks you back a little bit because it's so strong. I'm like, no, you can't dominate me, coffee. I'm in charge here. So I need my coffee, you know, weak. 
So I add hot water to my coffee, hot water to my espresso. I got my Americano, perfect cup of coffee. So that's what I could drink everywhere now. No drip, okay, got Americano. And they can't really say no. You're like, come on, it's just coffee. It's just espresso and water. I'm sure there's some finagling at how, what's the ratio. I'm not really good at math, you know, so I don't really care. But I just want, come on, just add some hot water to my espresso. So today I sit down at this cafe. It's right on the water. You have the waves lapping against the pier. It's very beautiful. And I'm like, this is going to be a great first cup of coffee in Venice. And so I sit down and I get the menu and I'm starting to look and I'm listening to the waves against the pier. It's so beautiful. And I'm just looking in the menu and I finally get to the coffee and I see espresso and it's $3 for an espresso and I had a heart attack. I'm like, oh, $3 for an espresso. That's quite pricey. Then I look at Americanos. Americanos are $6. Now, I, I can't understand the reasoning unless the Americano, unless the water that they added to these espressos are blessed by the Venetian gods and it's pumped with extra oxygen, yeah, then I might understand why it costs more. It's like espresso with blessed by Venetian gods and pumped with oxygen hot water. Yeah, that sounds quite appealing. I would love to drink water that's blessed by the Venetian gods. Um, however, it didn't say that. It just said espresso, three fifty, Americano, six dollars. And I was like, hell no. Why is the Americano three dollars more than the espresso when all they have to do is add hot water? Literally, they put the the, the, the espresso and then they move the cup over to the other part where it just shoots out the hot water and then they put it on a plate. Why does that add three dollars to the coffee? And so, you know, for a minute, I wanted to just ask for a cup of an espresso and a cup of hot water. And then I, because it's totally DIY now, right? The 21st century is all about the do-it-yourself movement. So I was just going to, like, add my own hot water to my espresso and my, my own Americano. Because that's a lot cheaper than paying $6 for an Americano when an espresso is $3.